It's over for Tiago Alcantara. We really wish Tiago all the best. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, important updates on Joshua Zirze, Riccardo Calafiori, Desiree Due, but also Michael Rollis, Eleni Joro. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start this video with an exclusive breaking but sad news for football because Thiago Alcantara, the Spanish midfielder, former Barcelona, former Bayern and also obviously Liverpool player has decided to retire from professional football. The decision has been made, it will be official soon, but I'm told that everything has been decided together with his family and people close to him. Thiago will remain into football, now he will take some time to rest, relax a bit think about the next chapter, study for the next chapter, and then he will stay into the football world, but not as a player. So it's over for Tiago Alcantara. We really wish Tiago all the best for his future while he's a former Bayern player and for Bayern is a busy Sunday because Michael Olise is about to complete medical tests and sign the contract till 2029. I told you that the deal was not in danger, that no club tried to hijack the deal because everything was done with Bayern, only focus on Bayern for Michael Olise. The only kind of issue was about the percentage of future sale that Crystal Palace have. Uh, Bayern uh, discovered that kind of detail uh, as soon as they uh, triggered the release clause, 45 million pounds. Now everything is fixed and so Lise is in Munich, as I told you. Had to be Sunday, is Sunday, is there. Medical test, contract signing and Lise is new Bayern player. Bayern, one of the clubs that are monitoring Desiree Doué, the talented winger of Rennes. Very good player, very big talent with many clubs interested in uh, several countries because Paris Saint-Germain have been uh, following the player because Bayern have been in contact also with people close to the player also Tottenham have desired way alongside other targets in their shortlist so many clubs are keeping close eye to this player because Desiree Way could be one of the names to watch in the next weeks there is movement around the boy his family have a big influence in the decision but Desiree Way is for sure in the list of these three clubs Bayern, PSG and also Tottenham waiting for them to make a move to understand what's going to happen on both player and club side because obviously for Rennes is a crucial player but there is movement for the future of Desiree Due and there's been a really important couple of days for Joshua Zirze if you are following the channel yesterday night guys you can see the video about Joshua Zirze telling you about positive contacts between Manchester United and the player side Manchester United getting everything ready to make the deal work and now we can say that Joshua Zirze Zierze is really one step away from becoming a new Manchester United player. It's expected to happen, it's expected to take place in the next days, because Manchester United have an agreement with Joshua Zierze, contract length, salary, all the details of the contract, so they have the green light of the player, they already have the green light for Matthijs De Ligt, who remains another top target for Manchester United. But now they also have the green light of Joshua Zierze, so both players said yes to Manchester United, even if they don't play Champions League football next season, both players want to go to Manchester United. For Zierze there is also the agreement on the commissions for the agent of the player, Kia Jorab Cham, who has an excellent relationship with Manchester United board, so they agreed on terms on player side, now Manchester United are prepared to inform Bologna about their intention to pay the 40 million euros and then Joshua Zierze will become a new Manchester United player in the next days. But May United are going very quick, very fast on this deal for Joshua Zierze. We know that Milan agreed on terms with Zierze one month ago, but the problem has always been the commission for the agent of the player. Milan decided not to pay that money, and now Joshua Zierze is on the verge of becoming new Manchester United player, with a here we go, expected soon. A work in progress also for Matthijs De Ligt, but Man United are going on several players. Let me mention one thing for both players, De Ligt and Zierze, Eric Ten Hag has been in direct communication. The Manchester United manager, with a new contract now, uh, he's been in touch, in direct contact with Zierze and with De Ligt calling the players, texting the players, so Eric Ten Hag had again an influence in these signings and Eric Ten Hag already approved weeks ago the name of Joshua Zierze as a candidate for Manchester United. So let's see what happens now in terms of timing, but the idea and the plan for the deal is very clear. May United and Joshua Zierze is a matter of time. Work in progress also on um, Matthijs De Ligt, as we said, there are also other things to mention and for Manchester United is one of the clubs we always mention also for Lenny Joro. Because Manchester United have been tracking Lenny Joro for a long time, United, Liverpool, PSG, these three clubs have always been there around Lenny Joro and they keep trying to understand if there is a chance to enter the race, 
but as of today, Sunday, Real Madrid remain in control. Real Madrid remain favorites, Real Madrid remain in contact with Lille, and Real Madrid remain the club with an agreement with the player, because we know Lenny Giroud wants to go to Real Madrid, Lenny Giroud wants to wait for Real Madrid, so all these clubs are still around to understand what happens between Real Madrid and Lille, so Liverpool, United, and PSG, but Lenny Giroud is still waiting for Real Madrid. Real Madrid are in communication with Lille for the Lenny Giroud deal, now is about the amount, the fee, the package required to make the deal happen, but for sure, Lenny Giroud remains a top priority for Real Madrid, and the top priority of Lenny Giroud is still Real Madrid. So, as always said, the only chance to change the story is if Real Madrid pull out of the race. But as of today, Sunday, Real Madrid are there, in control and negotiating. So, Lenny Giroud and Real Madrid is absolutely a deal on. And then, guys, to mention also something important on Arsenal, Arsenal want to close and complete the deal for Riccardo Calafiori next week. So what's going on? Arsenal and Bologna have almost understood that the fee to make the deal happen is around 50 million euros. Now they need to clarify the structure of the deal. How much in fixes, how much in addons, uh, how to pay this money, how many years, how is the payment terms. So they are discussing all these kind of details entering into the new week. Arsenal and Bologna hope to get the deal done on these kind of details, but they have an idea about the fee. The player, we know, we say it multiple times, uh, said yes only to Arsenal so far. He already said yes to Juventus, but it was February, March, April, May, then Juventus had no possibility to close the deal with Bologna. Bologna didn't want to sell the player to Juventus after what happened with Thiago Motta. They preferred to sell the player abroad, and now Bologna are prepared to give the green light to Arsenal, waiting to agree on the structure of the deal, on the add-ons and all details, but Calafiori wants Arsenal. Chelsea are no longer there at the moment they sign Renato Vega and Arsenal are advancing on all sides of this deal. They have an agreement with Calafiori, I told you, 2029 is the contract, five years, salary is 4 million euros net per season. This is going to be the salary of Riccardo Calafiori. Now, Arsenal are very confident to close the deal with Bologna. Remember that Bologna for Zirze have to give the 50% to Bayern and for Calafiori they have to give the 50% also, in this case, to Basel. So Bologna have to manage these kind of situations with the clubs because they need to receive this money. But for sure, Zirze and Calafiori are leaving. Calafiori is close to joining Arsenal. Joshua Zirze is really imminent to Manchester United. And for Calafiori deal, next week will be really important to get it done. For Zirze, probably also because Manchester United are super confident, working on the formal steps of the deal. But remember that Manchester United advance on Zirze and Arsenal advance on Riccardo Calafiori. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Zirze to Clara Fiori, but also Tiago Alcantara and all the other stuff. I wait for your opinion, guys, here in the comments, also on Desiree Dwe and Lenny Giroud, which club should go for these two great talents. Let me know your opinion here in comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Ciao.